Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got another Pokemon PVC opening. This is a Tomy Series 3, just like the last one I just opened. And speaking of the last one I just opened, it was the Pikachu and Darkrai 2 pack. And of course, today I got the Halucha and Bayonet 2 pack. I'll try to skip out the little rant that I had last time about how it pisses me off that they released another Froakie and Fennekin in this set or this series, but whatever. It's just really annoying that they don't give other Pokemon some time to shine, even though I know, because I've seen the Mono Collect series, that they do have other molds. So I got them out of the package, and as you can see, I can't freaking have them stand up. Maybe it's because they're on cloth. This is actually cloth on my counter. Um, but if you make a PVC and it can't stand up on its own, then you've done something structurally wrong, because a PVC should be able to stand without any, any help whatsoever without any stands unless you made the PVC with the stand of course but that that's a big problem for me structurally and it's fairly annoying let me try to stand it over here nope won't stand on any other surface either other than that mold wise let's first look at Halucha I love all the colors on this figure it's a uh, very accurate to the actual Pokemon itself no complaints about the mold, no complaints about the paint job. Everything looks fairly accurate, everything looks fairly well done. Um, they even did a good job of hiding the little Tomi Takara stamp right there that they have in all the figures. So, good job on that. It's not really too noticeable. Usually they're really, really noticeable. And I'll show you in here in a second of a really, really annoying, noticeable stamp. This is really stupid. This takes away from the figure. It can't stand, for one. And then Tomi Takara, or the producers, were like, let's put this giant, ugly-ass stamp, pardon my uh, language, on the stupid freaking figure that's so noticeable. It's... Uh, like, why, can, why didn't they just make it like this? Why? 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 I'm asking why. I wish Tommy Takara would watch this video because this is so annoying. Stop doing this. It takes away from the figure. I mean, you're making me pay. You're not making me pay. But these figures are worth like four bucks a piece. And then this crap happens. Ugh. Okay, other than that, the face is a nice figure. The mold is okay except for this. It's horrible. It takes away from the mold a lot. Uh, there's a little bit of crease right there. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, with a little weird tail. I really do like Bayonet as a Pokemon. It's just a really cool looking ghost Pokemon with the zipper mouth there and everything. Scary. Creepy as heck. But I, I'm not going to recommend it because I hate this right here and it just really pisses me off. Uh, the only reason why I think they would do this is because it's an older figure and sometimes these older figures, they haven't moved on to the new types of stamps. Um, I, I, th I can't say that's for certain, but from most cases that I've seen that that is the case that these older figures are like this and the new ones are like this it's just it's just unexcusable other than that guys thanks for watching later